Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church. Come on. Yes, I am. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church, St. Petersburg, Florida. Today is Sunday, October 13, 2022. Let us pray. Dear gracious and heavenly Father, we come before you as humbly as we can. Lord God, thank you for another day. Thank Amen. you, Lord God, for life, health, yeah. and strength mm -hmm. on this day. Thank you for waking us up oh, yes. on this day. Thank you, Lord God, for just keeping us yes. on this day. Yes. Because this yes. is the day you have made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in this day. Now, Lord God, we continue to lift up this great nation, the United States of America. And Lord God, we pray continuously for our government and for our president in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord God, we pray for the church, each and every believer there is. Lord God, we stand and we pray for them. And also we pray for each and every individual brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Now, Lord God, I say a special prayer for the Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church. My church, Lord God, I pray for her. I pray, Lord God, for her love and for her unity in the name of Jesus. Yes. Now, Lord God, there are those who are sick with afflictions in their body. So, Lord God, I'm going to call out some names. I'm going to lift up right now Miss Dimple in the name of Jesus right now. Right. I ask for healing from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord yes. God. I'm praying yes. for healing. I'm praying healing, Lord God, for Regina White right now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Please, I'm pleading and praying for healing right now for my friend, Carolyn DeVoe Turner, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord God, I know you are able, well yes. able, praying yes. right now yes. for my cousin, Cookie Jordan, lifting her up in the name of Jesus. Yes. And I'm just praying for healing. Praying yes. for Jackie Styles, Lord God, yes. for to be delivered, to be walking again, dancing again, be able yes. to run again yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Name of Jesus. Yes. Now, Lord God, as we get into this lesson, this lesson, Lord God, mm -hmm. teaching us about Christ's wisdom. Yes. We ask now, Lord God, that you may the words of my mouth be the meditation of your heart, be so acceptable in that sight. So, Lord God, decrease Lord today, but increase the mighty power of the anointing of the Holy Spirit that's yes. upon my life and is dwelling within me. Yes. In your dying yes. son, Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 I want to take the time to do a couple of acknowledgments. Yesterday I attended the wedding of one of my former Bible study. I taught him in Sunday school. Bible anyway, one of my students, Brian Anderson Jr., got married on yesterday. Amen. So I was there. So congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Brian Anderson Jr. Amen. And then I would like to congratulate our very own mother, Angela Cloud, and her husband, Paul. They will be celebrating, that's why she's not here today. They will be celebrating 25 years of marriage. Wow. Amen. 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 Congratulations wow. to them. Yeah. And then, yes, and I want to say a special shout out to my aunt, Auntie Betty. It's her birthday. She turned 70. Yes. Auntie 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 Betty. Betty. All right. And last but not least, I'm in purple representing one of our uh, ministries that I founded called Royal Women of Faith. Mm. We celebrated 11 years. Amen. 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 And of faith, our thematic scripture is those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. Right. So Amen. ladies that are listening in, happy anniversary again to you. Happy Amen. Happy anniversary. Yes. Let us now, and thank you all for allowing me those the moments of acknowledgement. Of course. Of course. Uh, as we continue on in this series, Studies of We Are God's Artwork. Last week, we talked about God picked you. God yes. picked you. Yes. And we, we found out in Ephesians chapter 1, how in verse 4, he says, he chose us before the foundation. Mm -hmm. He chose us. Mm -hmm. He chose us. For his pleasure. Mm -hmm. For his pleasure. And how we are special in him. For his pleasure. And so now we continue with this series. And today's lesson on this Sunday, November 11th, says Christ is wisdom. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. She corrected me. There's Sunday, November 13th, yeah. 2022. Just look at it. <laughs> November 13th. Thank you. 
All right. Um, Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 to 15 through 23. Yes. And I'll be reading from New King James Version. Starts out. Therefore, I also, after I heard from your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. Paul is continuing this letter of praise and just honoring these saints there in Ephesus and just thanking them for them getting, because he wants them to really truly get the full knowledge of what has bestowed upon them after God chose them. Okay? And so he says, he is praying for them that God's will will be for them. Uh, and then he says, because he's and this is to the saints, y'all. I told you this is not a letter to those who are not believers. Yes. He is praying for them and the strength and the encouragement in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he says, do, he said, I don't do, I don't cease giving thanks. So I give thanks and I'm praying for you. You know, it's good to have something. <clears throat> let me correct that. It's good to have the brother mm -hmm. to pray for you. Yes. Amen. And know who the brother is that's praying for you. Mm -hmm. Don't ask any and everybody to pray for you. That's Amen. Right. Amen. That's, right. Right. that's right. The brother. And then when they say without ceasing, you know, some of y'all say, well, oh, sister, honey, I pray for you. Y'all know y'all told a lie when you said it. <laughs> you don't. It says without ceasing. Anytime they come into your mind, mm -hmm. you should pray. And if, they, if, there's, if you're petitioning and helping them along the way, then you continuously will be praying. Right, yes. Right. You know, you'll continuously be praying. I know parents who pray for your children. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Whether they, everything going good or bad, you continuously That's pray right. yes. for God to cover your children. Yes. Am I right? Yes. yes. Well, the same way we're supposed to do for one another the saints, mm -hmm. we are supposed to <clears throat> continuously pray for them. Mm -hmm. Give thanks to God for them yes. being saints. And also, be, be sincere in your prayer for them. Amen. And I, I have this thing, that whenever somebody comes into my spirit, I might not be able to call them right away, mm -hmm. but I go to pray for them. Yes. And no matter what's going on, because, you know, you never know what's going on with somebody. You never know what's going That's on. Right. That's right. Just pray for them. Just pray for them. Prayer works. Amen. Prayer works. So yes. Paul is saying, this is what I do for you all. He says, I do this without ceasing. I, I've been praying for you. All the different churches that I have been a part of. Paul is saying, I am specifically to the, the people in Ephesus. I am praying for you. Mm -hmm. Praying to God Almighty mm -hmm. for you. And he says, and I'm going to tell you what I'm he's saying he's praying for. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Make sure you got me right now. God Jehovah. Mm -hmm. the, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of glory. Mm -hmm. That's who God is. Yes. May give you, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Him. Paul is praying for every believer to know God better. You know, the church's purpose is for every believer to come closer and closer to Christ. Mm -hmm. That's a prayer that's worth praying for each and every body. Yes. For them to understand, and you can't do it without the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. but to have the wisdom and revelation. So the closer you get to Him, yes, and it don't stop when you know when you know I read my Bible, but you just stop it right there. Mm -hmm. You have to get an in-depth knowledge. That's what wisdom is. Wisdom is not so much knowledge in saying that what you know. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is in who you know that you know. <laughs> That he knows. That's what wisdom is. It's not book smart. You know, we got a lot of, mm. uh, Lake Castle said, a lot of educated fools out here. <laughs> That's the truth. A lot. Hey, but man. this wisdom that Paul is praying for uh -huh. is for them to get closer to God. Don't just stop when you gave your life to Christ uh -huh. at the salvation point. Don't stop there. Continue on as you grow in Him. So keep up the study. Don't absent yourselves from the churches offering the Bible studies, the Sunday schools, 
Mm-hmm. And if your church don't offer it, find a church that does. Right, right, right. right. But what you should do is learn more about him. <clears throat> and then revelation <clears throat> in the knowledge of him. Now, that right there, you know, some people say, well, I read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Mm-hmm. Where did you get out of it? Well, I didn't understand it. You know why? Because you didn't receive the revelation. Mm-hmm. 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 The reading the Bible is not just reading any other book that you consider like a novel, nonfiction, fiction, or whatever. Mm. It is to get an understanding and to get to know God the Father. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you read, you need to pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit to help you in the understanding. That's where the revelation comes in. Mm -hmm. It's a process. That's where the revelation comes in. You know how you can read over a certain scripture over and over again? Mm -hmm. And you get something different out of it. Mm-hmm. That's because of a revelation of the Holy Spirit within. Mm-hmm. That gives you something. And you say, well, I think I know it. Every time I teach, especially if it's something that I'm familiar with, I always ask for a fresh revelation. Because I don't think I know it all. Because mm-hmm. I don't. That's right. I don't. And God reveals something different each and every time. I guarantee you, you talk to any pastor or preacher, they'll say the same thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. You still study Show yourself. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then it says, because you want to get to know God better. Mm-hmm. The eyes of your understanding. I'm trying to close it off now. The eyes mm-hmm. of your understanding. Mm-hmm. I left my notes. Uh-oh. It says, <clears throat> being enlightened that you may know what the hope of his calling, what are the riches of his glory and inheritance in the saints. Okay. Well, when you think about your eyesight in the physical sense, mm-hmm. physically, you have nearsight. Mm-hmm. If I'm nearsight, I can't see it. I just Mm-hmm. Far side things are closer. Okay. Then there's other things that you can get eye diseases. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yes. here, Paul is saying, let's look at it like this. Don't be nearsighted spiritual, have a spiritual eye, because you won't be able to see the future. Mm-hmm. Okay? You don't want the far sight spiritual eye, because you won't be able to see your sin in you. Mm-hmm. Okay? And then you don't need the glaucoma spiritual eye. Those are eyes that deal that still deal with the worry and the darkness and fear. Mm. But what you need is the 2020 spiritual eye. All right. All right. All right. So you can get the complete understanding. You can only get that with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That's why I say this lesson ain't for the unbelievers. This lesson is for those who believe in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So he will open up your eyes. That's why it says that you want your eyes, your understanding to be enlightened. Mm -hmm. That when you read read John 3, 16, that you are enlightened with your understanding. Yes. And that you'll understand the hope of his calling, that what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance that's all for the saints. Mm -hmm. Paul is praying for this. For the believers. He is praying. <clears throat> and I just believe that if the church just prays for each and every believer to get the spiritual enlightenment of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, that they, the church would be better. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to witness more. Won't be over here going at this with each other, mm-hmm. but you'll be united in Him. Mm-hmm. The church. Mm-hmm. And it wouldn't be about the preacher, the deacons, the mothers. It will be about each and every born again believer because I'm here to tell you, no title, no title is greater than he. All right. No title. I get that in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power? Oh, this talking about. God's greatness, Christ is greatness for us that believe. Mm-hmm. It's so great. We can't even imagine the greatness and the power of God. It exists 
He is who he is. Mighty, mighty God. We serve a mighty God. Yes, we yes. worship a mighty God. Yes. Who is well able. And then it says in verse 20, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead. That's when he showed his mighty power right there. Yes. 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 That's yes. the ultimate proof. Yes. Uh -huh. Of all the things, when we see the miracles of the Red Sea, we know about what happened when they parted the Red Sea. We know about what happened back in Egypt. We know about what happened when they when he saved the Babylon. He did all these things. We know about what happened when he got to the promised land. But what about what happened? And he said, well, sister, what about what happened to me? Mm. Well, look over your life. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. And just do, take the time to start taking notes mm. Mm. about all God has done that you yeah. know it could have been nobody but God. That's right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Think about when you were little. Uh -huh. Think about when you didn't have food. Yes. Everybody ain't never been to the point to say, they, well, I always had food. You always had clothes. Yeah. You always had a uh, place to sleep. A lot of people can't say that. That's right. That's right. That's right. You always had money to make, or did you just have some money to get back? That's right. You was doing Peter and Paul and Paul and the rest of the apostles to help you pay. That's right. Uh, you, up right. you know, everybody has not lived like that. Like that. That's right. Yes. yes. So even, and then you think about when well, people are rich, well, they're born and rich, they never experience it. But you know what? Having riches and wealth is not the success. No, it's not. It's not, I'm not knocking it, but it's not what Paul and what the Bible teaches. What it does teach you is that you can be rich and wealthy in him. Yes. Because all the things that you accumulate over here mm -hmm. can't go nowhere else but stay here. That's right. And it's going to perish. Yes. It's going to perish. But what he is promising is eternal life. Yes. And so you are, you are great and wealthy beyond measure. Right. And the, like I said, the greatest example of God's power is when he raised his son Jesus from the dead. And then when he got him up, Lord have mercy, yes. <laughs> when he got him up, he seated him in the place of honor, mm. right next to him on the right hand. Yes. Right yes. hand is the power of authority, mm. is the power. He has the power. Who is we? Jesus the Christ mm -hmm. has the power. He has the power. Because and he's in heaven right now. He ain't dead. Mm -hmm. See, I don't worship a dead Christ. I mm -hmm. worship a mm -hmm. risen mm -hmm. yes. Savior. Mm -hmm. He is alive. That's right. He lives. I know he lives. Mm -hmm. So it says, far above all principality. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Jesus. Yes. And power. And might and dominion. I like how Paul does this. He was letting it know. He was naming everything that can fall up under what we consider power. Mm -hmm. Principalities don't matter under Christ. Mm -hmm. Power, the greatest power there is, mm -hmm. is Jesus. Might, mighty God. Amen. We serve a mighty Amen. God, dominion. Yes. Yes. There ain't no president, mm -hmm. there ain't no king, there ain't no queen, mm -hmm. there is no emperor, there ain't no what, who else in the order? We're going to the church now. There ain't no bishop, no pope, no elder, no deacon, no mother, no trustee, no steward. There ain't nobody right. no that God. is greater than Jesus Come on. Christ. No yes. God, no they all, all have to be up under him. Yes. He has the highest authority there is. Yes. And be, why? Because he is Jesus the Christ. Yes. yes. That's who he is. Yes. So all things that the Father made it possible. Yes. Why? Because the Son was obedient and doing what he was supposed to do. Yes. To you. redeem us. Mm -hmm. That's why we were Thank chosen. You. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And, and is there every name that is a name, any other title you could think of. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Any other title. CEO. Mm -hmm. CFO. Mm -hmm. Don't matter. Right. Supreme mm -hmm. Court mm -hmm. Justice. Don't matter. Mm -hmm. Governor, don't matter. Don't matter. Senator, don't, don't matter. matter. Mm. Not only in this age, which we, we live in the present age, mm -hmm. the church age, but also in that which is to come. So anything that comes, when I'm gone, this yes. still don't matter. Yes. <laughs> he is who he is. Yes, he come on. He's Jesus. Yes. All right, all right. And he put mm, all things under his 
It's under his feet. Mm -hmm. It's under his feet. Come on now. And gave him to be head over all things to the church. Hmm. God did it. Made it possible. Mm -hmm. Did everything. And, and let me show Let me show It mm -hmm. says he put all things, right? Oh, all, yes. All. If I lay past the other one, was he here? All, all. All. all is all. all. Yes. Show you right. Under his feet. Mm. Now, the Bible says, when it ends of times come, mm -hmm. it's going to be every tongue shall confess mm -hmm. that he is Christ, yes. the Lord. They're going to all have to die. Yes. Even though they reject and refuse today, because everything, everything, I mean everything, all creation in, in, in us, he says to help us, those of us who were created in his image, mm -hmm. us will be the ones who are going to be judged. Mm. Now all his creation, it's amazing to me how most of God's creation obeys him, but not me. Mm. Mm -hmm. And man has is, was created in the image of God, and man was given a free will, <clears throat> right? Right. Mm -hmm. A free will to choose. Mm -hmm. They got. And, and I'm not talking about choices or you trying to decide what you're gonna wear to work or you trying to decide what you're trying to do or you trying to decide what's on the menu. I'm talking about something that's gonna affect you for the rest that's of your life. life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You can choose life or death. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 And it's just amazing to me how many people there are that you probably witnessed to or talked to that don't believe. Mm -hmm. And and one of the things they want to throw up is that well the Bible was written by a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not disputing that. Right. What we're saying is that. Inspired by God of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That's why they were able to write the Bible. Mm -hmm. And it was so bad. Why has it existed for so many years? Mm -hmm. And you got so many people that could witness and testify to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You say you could put man on the moon. We don't know that to be true. That's right. <laughs> we just see what y'all want this, us to see. Thank you. That's true. But for those of us who are believers. Yes. We know what we can see in him mm -hmm. in our faith. That's right. Yes. Yes. And we yes. still believe. Mm -hmm. My grandmama believed. Mm -hmm. And she's gone to glory. My mama believed. Mm -hmm. And she taught her children mm -hmm. to believe. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is something that goes on and on and on. Because we know this. It comes back again to the knowledge and the revelation. So all things are under his feet. Yes. Whether you want to believe it or not, mm -hmm. the day is coming Yes, when you won't get that chance to say, oh, it really is true. Mm -hmm. I guess I want to change my mind. No, oh, you've been yeah. living your life mm -hmm. in darkness and you chose death and that's where, and where you're going with. And hell, you're going you to live your life. Yes, right yes. And then he says he gave him to be head over all things to the church. Mm -hmm. So y'all be living in the church age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The church. Church has a duty. as a job. Yes. Believers in church. Christ is our body. Right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? He is the head. Right. He is the head. He is the head. We have a living connection between us and Jesus Christ. Yes. I said living. I ain't said dead because he's alive. Right. Okay? Yes, he is. That's right. How do we do this now? We have the Holy Spirit that unites us as members of the body. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit has a purpose. Yes, we know it leads, it guides, directs. But it also unites us as one with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We share everything with Christ. His resurrection, his ascension, and exaltion into heaven. Mm -hmm. Now the time is coming. This is the church I'm talking about. The church. Mm -hmm. The time is coming when the church will leave this world. Yes. Church age will end. Mm -hmm. 
for the world. The world needs the church. Amen. The world needs the church. Amen. It is the duty of the church to connect them to the living organism of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because the church ain't no building. Right. Mm -hmm. It ain't a building. I'm correct y'all. It ain't a building. The church is, is every believer in Christ. Mm -hmm. That's the church. That's the church. That's why we're living in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And after the church age ends, mm -hmm. all those who don't believe, yes. you're going to be left behind. Sure mm -hmm. enough. Sure enough. Now see, the church age is going to end when the rapture comes. Yes. The rapture is, what's that, Sister Ma? It's the calling out of the church. All right, now. Every believer, mm -hmm. even those who died in Christ, mm -hmm. or those who still walk around, going to be called out. And those left behind, y'all going to have to deal with something. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I know. Yes. Sure enough. But I was trying to that. Oh, oh yes. I'm gonna be caught up. Mm -hmm. I know I won't be left behind. Come on. Yes. This calling that's upon my life right now, this calling to fulfill. Mm -hmm. You know everybody who got to my favorite meal, my choice to charge to be God to glorify. Let it all the yeah. powers with me to do what? My my will. Will. A charge to keep. A charge to keep. We have a charge to keep. Of making sure mm -hmm. that the rest of the saints understand you got to get to know Christ Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. Get to know him. Mm -hmm. Don't just settle for where well, I gave my life to Christ, I'm good. But then you don't know him. You don't know, him. know how he would react. Because the yes. wisdom is the ability to apply the knowledge for godly living to know how to act and react mm -hmm. when life hits you. Amen. All right. Something comes along, you want to move, fall out. Mm -hmm. Abuse, you want to fight. That's not how he wants us to do. Christ is wisdom, and since we are united yes. with him, yes. I bless it. Mm -hmm. All right. May God bless each and every one. I thank you for this lesson. Okay. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.